Well, this morning it's going from bad to worse for Congressman Anthony Weiner. An X-rated photo, which Weiner admits he did send, has now become public, and several of his fellow Democrats are asking him to resign from Congress. Weiner's personally apologized to many colleagues, including former President Bill Clinton, who officiated at Weiner's wedding back in July. And there's now word that Weiner's wife, an aide to Secretary of State Hillary Clinton, is pregnant. Joining us now is Democratic strategist Robert Zimmerman. Mr. Zimmerman, good morning. Good, good morning. This morning. So more and more Democrats are calling for his resignation. Sure. He's adamant about staying at this point, but that was before the introduction of now this X-rated picture, and now there's talk of his wife being pregnant. The story just kind of keeps taking on a life of his own. Uh, is this the last straw at this point? Well, we're going to have to see how events unfold and how they progress. Remember, when Congress reconvenes next week, Congressman Weiner has to address the issue of the Ethics Committee, holding investigations, looking in, subpoenaing all of his uh, laptops and computer files to see if he was uh, in any way dialoguing or having internet relations with people and the age limits of those individuals. Did he use government facilities in this process? If any of that's true, game over. And he's going to have to deal with the pressure of his colleagues when they come back into session as well. Is he getting any support from any corner or is he just being totally ostracized? Right now, most Democratic members of Congress I speak to would sooner stand next to Congressman Paul Ryan, the Republican who authored the end of Medicare, than stand with Anthony Weiner. Yeah, that's saying something, I guess. Oh, let me ask you this. You're a strategist like the people you've talked to. Does he need to step down? I mean, is that, is that what he needs to do in your estimation? Look. The reality is he has been a great champion for many important causes, for instance, health care reform, tax reform, and he truly has to make a determination as to what's best for his issues he believes in, what's best for the Democratic message and his colleagues, and his own future. Personally, I think it's time for him to step down. I think it may be the best way for him to help build his future. He can be a very effective public policy advocate and not be in Congress. On a more serious note, not that this is not serious, yeah. but with the, get more serious? with the announcement that his wife is pregnant, I mean, the, the story really kind of takes on a little bit of a different narrative now. It's more about, than ju it's more about just Anthony Weiner's self-preservation. But now there's, there's more to this story. Well, look, first of all, Huma Abedin is a role model as a public servant. She's one of the most respected people, really beloved, uh, in Washington and by people who've worked with her from both parties. I admire her and I regard her as a friend. I think the high, have the highest regard for her. Her pregnancy and her life is not at issue here, and it really should be off the table. Anthony obviously has got to think about his family. I truly believe he loves his wife very much, and he's got to make that his focus. And I think politics for Anthony has got, unless he wants to run for governor of California, and with that state's track record, maybe he's got a future. Yeah. But otherwise, he's really got to focus on, in my opinion, what's best for the issues he believes in, best for his family, and I think that's best served by perhaps pursuing pub by pursuing public policy initiatives and not serving in Congress. All right, Mr. Zimmerman, thank you. Good to talk to thank you this you. morning.